code it's Bayden. welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and for today's video i will be sharing to you the coding assignments that i had during the second semester of my freshman year this is the part two of the video that i made last week so if ever that you want to watch part one after watching this video i'll just leave the link down below in the description box and in the cards up here so if you're new to my channel, I am a computer science major studying at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, and also a sophomore. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below and the notification bell beside it so that you will be notified every time that I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get started with the first coding assignment of this video. For the first coding assignment, ito siya, student information system. Ito yung time na diniscuss namin yung link list. So, if you watched my previous videos, dito ako nahirapan sa link list before. Tapos, naitindihan ko na siya, na tinuruan ako ng classmate ko over the phone. So, ito, nagawa ko na yung coding assignment namin. So, papakita ko muna sa inyo kung paano siya. So, meron dito add new student, display all students, display single student, edit student, delete all students, delete single student, or exit. So, enter choice 1 para makaatay ng new student. Student number 23, kanwari lang. First name, Bea. Last name, D. Year level 2, kasi second year na ako. Course, BSCS. Age, 20. Student information system, add ulit tayo para makita nyo na yung ibang features. 34. First name, Juan. Last name, Hello. Year level, 2 din. Course, BS, CS. Age, 6. Tapos, yan. So, eto na yung ibang mga menu options. So, click natin yung type natin 2 para ma-display yung all students. So, yan. Makikita nyo na na-display siya. Ako, tsaka si Juan. So, kunwari, magde-delete naman tayo ng isang student. So, enter student number. So, gusto ko i-delete yung sarili ko. Kunwari, 23. So, yan. Display all students ulit tayo para makita natin na deleted talaga. So, ayan siya. Deleted na talaga. Si Juan na lang natira. So, para makita nyo rin, delete all students. 5. Are you sure you want to delete all records? Naninigurado lang. So, why? For yes. So, yan. All records are deleted. So, tingnan natin yung delete all students. List is empty. So, ibig sabihin, wala nang students. So, yun ang pinagawa sa amin student information system using data structures through linked list. So, mag-exit tayo sa program para ma- explain ko sa inyo yung code. Ang code dito para mga paragraph na talaga kasi I was explaining the code that I made to myself kasi I'm also studying linked list during this time. So, self-defined data type, ito yung node natin, struct node, S S num, which is student number, F name, first name, L name, last name, year level, course, age, tapos next. Ito yung node para ma-point niya sa next na node. Points to itself, to a node with the same structure type to proceed to the next item in the list. Kaya ito talaga yung advantage if you have comments. Matatanda mo lahat ng ginawa mo. So, ito yung mga function prototypes, initialize, tapos, add student, find duplicate. Yung find duplicate, titingnan niya kung meron ka parehong student number na yun para hindi madoble yung student number na i-enter mo or yung student na Nandun na pala siya, tapos hindi mo na kailangan i-enter pala. Sort, isosort siya, display all, display single, edit student, delete all, delete single, and initial display. So, this is the main program. Start, yeah, always have a root or pointer to start to the start of the list. New info, ito yung kung saan mo ma-enter yung bagong entry. So, ito naman struct node A, B, D, placeholders. Para siyang temp sa sort function. Tapos, fin choice, ito yung final choice. Variable that enables the code to go back to the main menu if it is equal to zero. Except for the condition in, in case zero sa switch statement. So, ito naman choice made by the user from the menu. Yun, yun, yun. Add student, edit. Choo, 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 choo. So, yeah. So, ito siya. Ayan yung pin print niya yung nakita natin kanina, yung sa add new student, display students. Ito yung switch statement. Goes to the choice made by the user from the main menu. So, ito siya. Switch choice, case 0 to exit the program when 0 is entered. Kasi nga, di ba, dito, pag click yung 0, i-exit yung program. Tapos, ito, case 1, adding a new entry or student. Nagmalok ako. Allocating a memory to the new info. 
for that certain node, new info next is equal to null. Ito, in-insure niya lang na ang kasunod niya is empty. Ensure that it doesn't point anywhere. So, add student, function adding a new student in the list. So, tingnan natin ang add student. Ito, adding student. Student number, scan if, s, new info, s, num. String kasi siya. So, yeah, if start is not equal to null, there's already existing data in the linked list at hindi siya yung first na na data sa link list natin or sa student information system, it will find a duplicate and check if there is the same if there is the same student number as the one inputted by the user na ninigurado lang. After that, initial display displays the rest of the information needed after the student number. And hanapin natin si initial display. Yun yung kung nasaan yung first name, last name, ayan. Your level course in age para ma-enter ng, ng user yung remaining information for that student. So, kinukuha mo na yung student number, titingnan kung may duplicate, tapos papa-enter yung rest ng information sa kanya. So, after that, display, ang case 2 naman is display all of the entries. Yeah, if start is equal to null, if the list is empty, it will print a message and go back to the main menu. If the list is empty, it means kailangan mag-add ng new entry ang user. So, yeah, list is empty, display all, goes to the display all function. Kung merong laman, magdi-display siya. So, ito yung display all function, student number, first name, ayan, ayan di-display niya lahat. Ang susunod naman is display single entry. So, single is equal to struct node and allocating a memory. If the list is not empty, enter student number to display. So, kailangan mo enter student number, kunwari 23. So, punta tayo sa display single na function na ginawa ko. Holds value for string compare. Ayan siya, hanapin niya kung anong kapareho niyang value through the string compare function. So, if compare is equal to zero, it means na same siya. So, it is the information that the user wants to display. It display niya yun. So, if wala naman siyang kapareho, edi sasabihin ng program ko, student number does not exist. So, it means kailangan ni-enter ng user yon i-add a new entry sa program na ginawa ko. Kasi wala naman yung user na yun doon. So, after naman nun is, pwede mo edit yung student info if start is not equal to null. Yeah, enter ulit yung student number and then edit, pupunta siya sa edit student. So, i-compare na naman siya kung anong kapareho niya student number and then if may kapareho na siya, ipiprint tong, ipiprint tong statements na to, tapos pupunta siya sa switch statement, and kung kawari, case 1 ang pinili niya, enter first name, babaguhin niya si first name ng user. So, babago yung name. So, yun yung edit student. So, after naman, ng edit student, yan, single entry deletion, pwede ka rin mag delete ng single entry and also you can delete all the records. So yun yung student information system na ginawa namin. Actually, it's kind of long kasi madaming madami talagang pinagawa sa amin dito pero it's fun nung nagets ko na tapos madami din ako natutunan na yan. Ito yung function for sorting na ginawa ko para masort lahat ng information via student number. So yeah, that's the first coding assignment. So, for the next naman nating coding assignment, ito yung tinuruan kami ng C++. Tapos, para to sa isang hardware store. And, ito siya. Parang, enter mo yung part number. Kunwari lang. Part number natin is 9. Enter description. Kunwari, hammer siya. Enter quantity. Gusto ko 7 na hammers. Enter price, 8. So, ang result niya is part number 9, hammer 7, 8, total invoice amount is 8 times 7, 56. So, 56 pesos yung kailangan kong bayaran. Do you want to continue? Kawari, yes. Enter part number ulit, 6. Enter description, pako. Enter quantity, 8. Enter price, 8 pesos. Invoice amount, 64. Do you want to continue? No. So, mag end yung program. So, I think class na ginawa ko for invoice, private. String part num, string description, quantity price, ang public is invoice, at yung mga functions na ginawa. Then, ito yung ano, mga functions. So, 
ito yung constructor niya. Tapos, invoice set part num. Part num is equal to num. Set description. This is equal to description. Set quantity. Quantity is equal to quan. Ayan siya. Ayan yung mga functions na ginawa ko. So, ito naman yung dito talaga kung saan yung mga, mga nangyayari, which is the main function. Invoice, invoice 1. Ito, sineset niya lang yung mga default na quantities or numbers ng mga sa invoice. Invoice 1, string tmp part num, string tmp des, which is the description of number, integer, temp quantity, temp price, unsigned long length, int choice. So, ito. Enter part number. Ito siya yung dito sa enter part number 6. Description pa ko. Quantity, quant, price, price, tmp price. Len is equal to tmp this dot length. Titingnan niya kung gaano kahaba yung in-enter ko na description sa pako. So, if length is greater than 30, maririsize siya. Tapos, tmp quant is less than 0. tmp quant is equal to 0. tmp price, parang maninigrado lang to na hindi less than 0 yung sinet ko. So, See out, ito. Papakita nila yung mga result. Tapos gagamitin yung mga functions na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or video ideas, just comment it down below. I'll be happy to reply to them and heart your comments. So, God bless. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!